Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the 2049 newspaper article that was revealed in episode 1. We have so much to break down. People have sat down and written out everything they've seen in the article, because the article is not that blurry, but it helps that people have typed out, and we've got some major stuff to talk about in regards to this year's crossover and what's to come. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, everything that is said in the 2049 article that I'm about to read to you guys, tees up the idea of Crisis on Infinite Earths, and that is epic. So, potentially Elseworlds, with the monitor actually showing up, which has been confirmed, he is a major character in Crisis on Infinite Earths, and with what's happening in this, with the confirmation of many different characters linked to Crisis on Infinite Earths, it all leads to the idea that this Elseworlds crossover is going to be very similar to that, so let's go through this. This is how it starts. It was a beautiful spring day in Central City, not so different from that morning years ago, when the clear blue skies turned crimson red, and the Scarlet Speedster vanished in a crisis. Thousands gathered here, at the Flash Museum to commemorate that day's quarter century anniversary. Names were read of the other victims of the attack, and Governor Singh gave remarks on the Flash's enduring legacy. The details of the Flash's disappearance remain murky. A 2026 Congressional Commission repeated the citizens' initial reporting. Hours after the sky turned red, the Flash and his allies fought the Reverse Flash. The ensuing street battle caused the most destruction the city has ever seen. It was not until the Flash and the Reverse Flash disappeared in an explosion of light that chaos ceased. But in the years following the crisis, accounts only grew more contradictory, some eyewitnesses remembering dozens of other heroes present including Green Arrow, Batwoman, and Elongated Man. Others remember heroes lost in time, like the Atom, or from other worlds like Supergirl. Some even contend they saw Reverse Flash leading an army of shadow demons. Scientists at Ivy University's Memory Institute chalk up those. Research has focused on Roger Hayden, aka Psycho Pirate, who claims to remember the night's events. He said upon his arrest, Worlds lived, worlds died, nothing will ever be the same and nothing ever was. Staring at the golden statue of the Flash, this reporter remembers the words of former police chief Joe West, we don't have the details. Wow, so I have chills talking about this. This teases Crisis on Infinite Earths. Like, I'm gonna skip right to Psycho Pirate because Psycho Pirate is a massive character in Crisis on Infinite Earths because he ends up working for both sides and he works with the Anti-Monitor and with what he says in this quote, he says, world's lived, Worlds died, nothing will ever be the same. This definitely confirms that Crisis on Infinite Earths is coming. Whether it's in this year's crossover or not, it's definitely going to be teased in this year's crossover with Monitor coming, and obviously it being called Elseworlds, because as he says, Worlds lived, Worlds died, nothing will ever be the same. Therefore, he's talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. In Crisis on Infinite Earths, essentially what happens was the Anti-Monitor merged all these different Earths together, all these different universes, and the heroes had to stop this from happening, and some worlds died, as the Psycho Pirate says, but also some worlds lived, which happened, and in regards to the Reverse Flash, and with them disappearing into an explosion of light, this could be how in Crisis on Infinite Earths, how Barry Allen actually dies, so you know, there is so much to actually think about right here, and I'll try and cover all of it that I can. And in regards to backing up the idea of Crisis on Infinite Earths is, some even contend that they saw Reverse Flash leading an army of Shadow Demons. And essentially, the Shadow Demons in Crisis on Infinite Earths are an affiliate of the Anti-Monitor. They are the silent assassins of him. So that just further emphasizes the idea that this is definitely what they're teasing. They are definitely teasing Crisis on Infinite Earths with all these different accounts. Obviously with the different accounts coming up over the 25 years, it is a way for the show to actually include people like Batwoman. As it says in the article, people saw that Batwoman and the Elongated Man and Green Arrow were there among the Atom and people from other worlds like Supergirl. and. Also, some accounts said there were dozens of other heroes present, and that sets up an easy way for them to include different heroes that are currently on the shows when they get to Crisis on Infinite Earths, whether it's this crossover or not. They can include all these different heroes, and I love the addition of Batwoman, and also, it's pretty, pretty interesting that they say 
Batwoman with Elongated Man and Green Arrow, and others remember heroes' thoughts lost in time like the Atom or from other worlds like Supergirl. Supposedly, this confirms that Batwoman is from Earth-1 because she is not on the other world side, she's not lost in time, she's with Green Arrow and Elongated Man in the description. So it seems like Batwoman's gonna be on Earth-1. Basically, everything that is said in this newspaper article is leading up to Crisis on Infinite Earths. I really do hope with them actually bringing the Monitor into this year's Elseworlds crossover, they either do Crisis on Infinite Earths or they tease the idea because everyone has been theorizing about this for ages, considering that obviously some people aren't a fan that Supergirl's on another Earth from The Flash and Green Arrow and everyone else due to the fact that the crossovers must find a way to give them an excuse to go to Supergirl's Earth or for Supergirl to go to the Flash's Earth. People want it for convenience and that's what they did in the comics. They merged these worlds, they destroyed other worlds so that the DC Universe was condensed into just a few different realities. So this is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any crossover videos as we head towards the crossover this year. They're starting shooting right now. I should have some other crossover videos very soon. Stephen Amell has been teasing the crossover. They're starting to shoot it right now, which I'll talk about very soon. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong. It doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like sharp pretty teeth.